This method helps to answer key questions in the virology field about how viral proteins rearrange cellular membranes to create environments that favor viral replication and assembly. The two technical cornerstones that are combined here are first, the correlation between live cell imaging and electron microscopy, and second, high pressure freezing. Although this method has been designed and successfully utilized to tackle virus-host interactions, it can easily be generalized to a range of applications in cell biology. Visual demonstration of this method is critical, as there are many steps that require practical experience for success, especially cryomobilization via high pressure freezing and the subsequent steps. Begin by placing patterned sapphire disks with an alphanumeric pattern etched onto one of their surfaces into a 15 milliliter conical centrifugation tube and washing the disks thoroughly with ethanol. Place the washed sapphire disks in a petri dish lined with filter paper for drying and use long slim tweezers to transfer the dried sapphire disks onto glass slides. Using an inverted microscope at 4x magnification, Confirm that the pattern of coordinates on every sapphire disk is readable. Then sterilize the disks with an ultraviolet crosslinker for five minutes. In a biosafety cabinet, add half of the cell culture medium to a cell culture dish and use long tweezers to carefully transfer the sapphire disks into the dish. Then seed 1 times 10 to the 5 HUH7 LUNET cells stably expressing the T7 polymerase in the other half of the cell culture medium onto the culture dish. Confirm that the sapphire disks remain at the bottom.